Hey guys, what's going on today? We're gonna to be talking about the Sandor Z bike. <laughs> guys it's been a week since i've taken delivery of the sondor's bicycle e-bike and i want to thank sondor's storm and aaron for everything that you guys do and we're going to do a quick in-depth video about this e-bike okay so let's start with um let's start with the quality i think the build quality of this bicycle is, is damn amazing right and this is the new fold x version that means you can fold it. It's a little thicker here, right? The body, it's a lot thicker and it folds and you can put it inside like your SUV where you don't have to get a rack. You know, sometimes it sucks where you have to be cruising around with a rack with the Sondors. Let's check out what we, let's check out our unboxing day. Check that out. Okay, so pretty easy to put together, you know. One thing that I did wish that is that came with some sort of a, a literature, like a paper that we can, uh, or you know, like a manual or some sort like that, so that um, you don't have to be going through the video. But they do have all the assembly videos online, which is cool. Build quality, I like the welds. The welds are really awesome looking on this bike. Let's see if we can get a closer shot. I just love those welds, right? And the finish is great. Uh, the, I love the blue rims. It's on there with black contrasting uh, spokes. This is gonna be your front brake caliper. And your front disc. Uh, works pretty well, adjustable. So when you're gonna go ahead and, and disassemble the bike, if you wanna fold it, this is your go-to right here. You'll see this latch. You pull it up and it will break apart. Okay, so uh, that's how it's gonna break apart. This folds and there's a uh, mechanism that you can loosen up there. So you can even loosen up some more. And the, one of the coolest things, the small things again, that is really cool with this bike is that you put this little rubber little bumper right here why because when you hold it back up and when you click it you don't want it to be damaging the the tube right here of your uh, steering shaft the brakes are pretty self-explanatory and they're adjustable as you uh, as you know and on the right side the right side you're gonna have this is gonna be your your like your power level, see where your, your battery is charged at. Uh, handlebars are really cool. It's got this little extension right here to rest your palm on. So uh, when you're riding distance, it won't be as bad. One of the coolest things that I did see, see them put together is how they ran the cables throughout the entire bike, from the bike cables, right? So how neatly they put it is, you see how they kind of, they have kind of like this, this is kind of like a round, plastic bungee that kind of wraps around it and it kind of keeps it nice and neat and clean right so you don't have all these cables running all over the place and it follows all the way down to the bottom of the bike so one one cable leads to the brakes and this goes all the way to the back and again it's really neatly put together so the battery lives inside here that's why that it's a little thicker because this is where the battery goes and to fold this bike you know, you release this up and you just pull this and then it will fold. So pretty easy, okay? To put it back, it just locks in place like this. Locks in place there. And then you put back this locking mechanism so that it won't open up. Over here, 
so you can see uh, you can raise the handlebar as high as you want and the same thing for the seat now they have quick release so that you can put it up higher lower a lot easier as you can see the side right here the side has uh, the Sondor's log logo on it and again the build it looks looks fantastic um, the wells look awesome and then we're gonna go through the back here and as you guys can see that there are all mounting holes on each side there's the other one and I believe there's one in the front as well right here and right back there so these are for the accessories that you can purchase for the fenders and I think the rear fender even has a little uh, stand that goes in the back where you can place things on it which is pretty cool right I don't really know what this is right here guys so let me back up a bit if I back up a bit here there's that little thing that sticks out right there any of you guys know what that is I'd love to know the side stands right there and the coolest thing with this motor guys this is the new motor this is a 48 volt 500 watt motor and uh, gives you a lot of power a lot of torque sometimes with bikes these these pedals they totally get in the way right so with, with these guys right the coolest thing with these guys they kind of fold in like this okay so if you see you can lay it down flat or right next to along the wall of your suv no problem where do you charge this bike you know because when i first got it it didn't come with a computer yet so i thought it was the connector here for the computer so I was like, okay, and then I tried putting this in. This is the charger that you're gonna get. It has a built-in fan inside. So you just plug it in. And then once it's plugged in, you have this male adapter right here. And I tried putting it on back here and it doesn't fit. So it's, so right now it's connected. It's for the bike's computer, the LCD screen. So right alongside right here, there's a little, little rubber grommet right here, right? So if you pull that out, you just kind of pull it out right here. Inside, you guys can see. Let's see. Quite sunny. There it is. So inside, guys, you see an on and off switch inside there. And right next to it, there's a little lid, and that's where you plug in the bike to charge. So this lead, this lead, is gonna go into there, right next to your on and off switch. Okay, so let's turn it on. Now the bike is on. And if you wanna put the cover back, you can put it back. So it's aesthetically pleasing. Now let's look, let's look at the computer, the LCD. Okay, so now that we turn the power on, as you can see, uh, the battery is full. It goes from green, amber, and red. So battery's good. Now to turn on the computer, when you guys go ahead and um, set up your, your screen here, the LCD screen comes with this little toggle switch right here. It has a plus sign up top, uh, info button, and a minus sign. And the bottom is for for a walk, it says walk. To power it up, you can hold it down for two seconds. I'm gonna push the button. Two seconds, and it lights up. There we go, we're on. So this, the LCD screen gives us a lot of information about the bike. So the first thing you're gonna see in the top left, guys, you guys have your, your battery indicator. So as you can see, we have full charge of battery. And then number two right there, on this side that's the assistance level of the bike good because when you pedal the motor will assist you and help you in pedaling the bike okay and the small zero right there that is going to be our speed indicator actually these two things right here the zero and that zero is a speed indicator indicator and the bottom is the odometer now we can we can scroll through these things so right now, the way it's set up right now, if I hit plus, if I hit plus, as you can see, the three, four, the assist is going higher and higher. 
the max assist is five. Okay. Okay, so let's put everything back to zero. And if you want to find out the other features that it has, you push the information button. Now you have your trip when you press it once. And if you press it again, it tells you like your ride time right now. Uh, it defaults starting at one minute, I think. And then the next one, odometer. And the next one, it tells you the max speed that you've got if you push it again. And if you keep on scrolling through, it's going to give you your average speed. So it really gives you a lot of information. You can also change from uh, miles to kilometers. So it's pretty cool. Now if I push this again to shut it off, you just want to hold it down another two seconds and it shuts off and you're good. So let's see how this thing goes on the road, okay? All right, man, so here we go. Let's try this. Let's power up the computer. Okay. It defaults to uh, two, level two of assist. Okay. Right there, the, the bike just uh, gave me some assist. Oh, it's kind of windy, so I'm gonna try and turn this around. So right now we're going eight miles an hour, seven miles an hour with no assistance on the bike at all. So I'm gonna go ahead and kick it up here to one. It gives me assist already. So right now it's giving me a lot of power. It's pretty much pedaling by itself. So at five, it's just going by itself basically. Every time I pedal, and underneath here, see the on the computer right here, there's a little push. If you push that, you don't have to pedal and then it'll go for you. And the bike feels really good, feels really stable, um, especially with those big tires. It keeps a log of your trip. going at 15 miles an hour and this is just at one and the ride time it gives you the ride time has been two minutes and so with the power assist on being on number one when you start pedaling just a little bit it starts to activate the motor thank you so it starts the motor You get you get looks from people, right? Look at look. This is what I got in front of my house, right? And, uh, the Sondor actually gets the look. Let's go. Let's go from zero, from nothing, okay? From nothing, and then we're gonna try and go. Um, let's put the assist. Let's put the assist on five, the maximum assist. All right. So let's see how it goes. As you can see, I'm kind of like a quarter up, uh, and we'll pedal away. And the bike, after like two or three revolutions, the pedal, it's taking over. And right now, I'm barely doing anything. Right now, the bike is doing everything. It's insane. You know? But I would say that the battery consumption would be so much, uh, it go a lot quicker with, with that kind of... Uh, uh, that kind of support with well, that kind of assistance I mean so I think for me the happy medium would be a one all right so we're going at 10 miles an hour no 12 breaks this time we're gonna take a break on both uh, riding the bike further but I could see this being a very, very cool bike to ride in those, in those uh, hot days. And the assist, as you can see, it's easily maneuverable through the maze of cars that we have here. And look at the battery power, we haven't even touched a lick, right? We are still, we are still here at full, full power and we've ridden a mile 
three and a mile and then um, uh, our max speed was 19 miles an hour average speed of 9 miles an hour 9.9 .9, so almost 10 so man this LCD computer is really awesome and I think it also gives it the time and right time of six minutes so and to shut it off again you hold it down for for uh, two seconds so what do you do now that you're done riding your bike well pretty easy right you're just gonna go plug it in and I showed you guys how you do that first you just get the kickstand off 